Hey, May Flom here, and today I'm talking about using my Scan and Cut to do layered or inlaid, whatever you prefer, designs. Now, this is a lot of fun, and right here you see me working with an owl, and basically what we're talking about is, you see how that owl, the blue owl, has all of those gaps and spaces? And then I'm gonna take the orange owls, the little bits, and transfer them over. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So first of all, you can do this with just about any material you like. In this video, I'm demonstrating with vinyl because it is the easiest because it is either iron-on or self-adhesive, both of which make it very simple to transfer and do this. But like I said before, I've done this with paper, done this with many different things, it's a lot of fun. Basically what you're looking for is two contrasting materials a pattern and a solid, two solids that are different colors. And then you're looking for a design in your scan and cut. And you see me quickly going through here and looking at different designs. So some are gonna work really well. Something that has a lot of little holes for lack of a better term, but something that has a pattern, a design that's gonna have lots of little spaces to fill in is gonna work well. Something like this flourish right here has no spaces. It is the pattern and then around the pattern. That's not gonna work well because there's nothing to fill in. So that's what you're looking for is a kind of a pattern that has lots of little bits and pieces to fill in. And once you have found that, using your Scan and Cut DX or any model Scan and Cut for that matter, you're going to cut it out. Now you're going to want to cut out both pieces the exact same size because in order for those little pieces to fit in, you want both to be the same size and so that everything will fit and work nicely. That is really the only rule. You can cut these one at a time uh, if using different materials. If they'll fit on your mat, you could cut both at the same time. That's really up to you and whatever works best for your process. Just a reminder, if you're cutting vinyl or sticker sheet or something that is going to just wanna cut the top, you're gonna wanna put it on half cut. Otherwise, just let the auto blade take over, do its thing and have fun with it. Now, once it's cut out, if you're working with paper, what I like to do is peel off of the mat the design itself. So the more whole or larger piece, the more solid single piece is what I would pull off. And then I leave all the little bits and pieces on the mat to serve as kind of a roadmap where these pieces actually go, where they fit to make it easier. Now, if you're working with vinyl, all you're gonna do is, well, you're just gonna weed it. So one of these, if you're working with iron-on material, one of these you're gonna remove the large design and the other one you're going to weed out all the little tiny bits and pieces. And what this is going to do is to give you the two halves of the whole design and oh my gosh, you guys, this is really an addictive thing. This is so much fun to do. As you can see here in the video, I am removing the outside and I'm going to try to keep that actually so that I can use it on a different project. And you can see here how it layers over. Isn't that fun? So you can layer it over and obviously with iron on, you would iron the one and then iron the other, but it's so much fun to see and it can create such an interesting contrast for a project. So when you're all ready, you get out whatever it is you're going to, if it's an iron on, whatever it is you're going to iron onto and go ahead and go for that. If it is sticker vinyl, then you would go ahead and pull out your transfer material. You could transfer these things one at a time with a pick tool. However, if you have transfer material, that's the far easier, much faster way to do this. Go ahead and just get everything transferred from your sheet from the backing onto the project. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video. I had a lot of fun with this and you're gonna be seeing a paper version of a project from me here next month. As always, if you have any questions or requests for future videos, please do feel free to let me know. I'll see you next time.